big news today, and I don't know if everyone's seeing what I am here in regards to Ripple, in regards to the SEC. To me, I see a full pivot on the strategy here. If you didn't hear, the SEC amended their complaint versus Binance, stating, you know what, the tokens themselves, the cryptocurrencies themselves, they're not securities, just the way that Binance sells them sometimes is a security offering. Now, here's the deal. Uh, that aligns very well with the ruling in the Ripple court case. It may leave very little incentive for the SEC to appeal to allocate more resources towards that case. I ran this through GPT-01 preview, the most advanced AI that we can get our hands on right now. And this is what it says. The Ripple case established that XRP itself is not inherently a security, but certain methods of its sales by Ripple constituted unregistered securities offering. In the SEC's amended complaint against Binance, the agency seems to be shifting its focus in a manner in which tokens are sold rather than categorically labeling the tokens themselves as securities. This alignment suggests that the SEC may be more willing to accept the Ripple decision and not pursue further litigation against Ripple. It'd be massive. And I can tell you this. What I hope for is actually that there is no settlement. That the SEC simply walks away from this and takes, you know, the result of this case. Ripple pays the fine. We move on. No appeal. To me, that's that would be the best case scenario. And the reason being, Ripple, in that court case, they're on-demand liquidity uh, operations. The judge says those are an illegal securities offering. They went back a second time. They made some adjustments. They made some changes. They've shaken things up the way they use XRP in their payment flows. And the judge didn't seem too, too happy with whatever they're doing. I think they're going to have to drastically shake things up. And I'd rather not delve into that. I'd rather not talk about it a lot. I think if there's a settlement, it will be out there in black and white uh, for the whole market to see and everyone to digest. I'm not so sure that's a great thing for XRP, the cryptocurrency. A settlement may be great for Ripple, the company, because they will know specifically what they can do in accordance with that agreement. It might be great for the SEC, but I would say for the XRP investor, what we hope is that deadline just cruises on by and we see nothing. Further on, the SEC's amended complaint against Binance. Again, this is AI's assessment here. The terminology adjustment, the SEC clarifies that it's not referring to the crypto asset itself as a security, but to the investment contract. Again, they have been unwilling to state that clearly in the past. Now they are. It's a focus on the sales practice of the entity, Binance in this situation, and that was the winning uh, part of their case against Ripple. When Ripple packaged it in certain ways and, you know, sold XRP with certain contractual agreements, those were securities offerings. They're going to try to do the same thing here with these exchanges. And that's probably going to be their path forward. Uh, this is a consistent legal framework with the Ripple decision. Both the Ripple case and the SEC's amending complaint against Binance focus on the application of the Howey test to specific transactions and sales practices rather than labeling the coin itself is the security, which makes a lot of sense. Most of these big time cryptocurrencies are not equity in any sort of business enterprise and they're not debt securities. It's going to be a hard, uh, you know, a hard road ahead for the SEC to change reality. That's just the case here. Artificial intelligence continues to say implications for the SEC's approach towards Ripple. Well, this reduces the need for an appeal. Accepting the Ripple decision allows the SEC to adopt a consistent regulatory strategy without expanding resources on an appeal that might not be successful. Uh, strategic focus on the sales practices, the SEC can focus on ensuring compliance on how digital assets are offered and sold, and they avoid an adverse precedent. So again, if they take this to appeals, it may go horribly wrong for them. Benefits for the SEC, resource allocation, of course, they're not gonna you know, spend a lot of time and money chasing after a losing case, one that may get worse for them. Regulatory clarity, they accept it. The judge gave Gary Gunza what he asked for, a clear ruling. He said that at the beginning, we may have to lose, but we're going to let the courts decide what the law states today. 
That's pretty much what happened, isn't it? And it strengthens its legal position in all of these cases. Again, in the Ripple case, XRP itself was not the security, but Ripple did break some securities laws. They can extrapolate that over to the way these exchanges operate and probably have more success. And I got pages and pages of analysis here, but essentially it says probably the best course of action is to just accept the ruling and move on. It's probably what the SEC will do. We'll have to wait and see. We know the SEC doesn't always make the most logical choices, but at the same time, when you look at what they did here in the Ripple court case, they got a ruling uh, from a judge that probably gives us a good idea of how the law applies to this space. They got a lot of money in, a, in, in fines and penalties, $125 million. It wasn't all a loss. It wasn't what they wanted, but it was a legal answer. And I think they're going to roll with it. We'll have to wait and see. Again, our appeal won't really harm XRP in a huge way, but we would like to just never discuss this again. It'll make it much easier for your grayscales and someday your black rocks and you know your, your traditional finance to incorporate XRP in their investment products. And we're going to see a lot of that next year. So hopefully we don't have legal issues hanging over our head so XRP can participate in all of that as it should as a top cryptocurrency. I think it will help things a great deal. Uh, you know, an appeal won't lead to delistings, but it'll still harm that value because there's ongoing court cases. Extra risk ain't good. So hopefully we can put this behind us. It sure is looking like it. I'm not seeing a lot of people saying this, but we see the pivot by the SEC in other court cases. Seems to align with the Ripple and the XRP ruling. It's got my spidey senses you know, going wild here, that either we're going to see a settlement, which is still possible. People say it's not. They're wrong. A settlement can be had at any point in time, even after a final ruling. Or, again, they just don't do anything here, and we cruise on by, and that decision is it. Ripple pays the, the penalty, and off we go. We'll see which one it is. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.